So for those of you who are not familiar, um, when I started streaming more consistently in the like the quarantine COVID-19 era, um, the, the largest community that ended up following me and, and checking out my content was a community known as the Promised Land. There were like a bunch of, I guess, like high school-ish um, friends, I guess. I don't know all their ages. Um, but they're, they're like this collection of like internet friends. I think some of them know each other in real life. Uh, but they, a lot of them make content together. Um, but they, they just generally just like hang out over Discord and stuff and have a good time. They support each other. Um, I think ISM actually put out like some music. They went and boosted boosted uh, that. They all like streamed it and stuff. So that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to see them all band together as a friend group and as a community. However, things recently took a turn for the worst. I go into Discord, uh, actually to send a clip to Sleepy, who I think is actually streaming right now. I'm a big fan of Sleepy. Kind of uh, got into one of his Discords, and I was sharing some um, some clips from the use during his stream. And then I realized that uh, someone had mentioned me in the ISM server, which is extremely rare, because um, usually I will mention someone else, and then that person will mention me. But then I go into the ISM server and I see this message right here. This is from uh, I, a mini weed is, is ISM says, unless something happens in the next 48 to 72 hours, the ISM server has been scheduled for deletion. Take time to screenshot any last memories before everything will be gone forever. Now, this is quite a shame because, you know, my favorite my favorite channel on here has been the film discussion channel. And I've like shared pictures of like, I don't know if we can go back to some of the uh, pictures that I've shared. I'm sure. But it's like cool. Like some people over here, they're sharing like pictures of like VHS halls that they've gotten and stuff. Like I'm a physical media fan. And so I love this, you know, people sharing like letterboxed, like screensaver, uh, not screensavers, uh, letterbox screenshots and stuff. It's all very, very cool. And so I'm like, this kind of sucks. Like I've never been like, I've never been like insanely embedded in the Promised Land community, but I do not have a better Discord community to talk about movies uh, in. I am in, uh, there's a streamer, her name is like HNNXS. She's like a Christian streamer on Twitch. I am in her community and there is a movie uh, channel in there, but there's just heavy auto mod that I can barely talk about anything without it getting flagged by the auto mod, even though I'm not saying anything crazy or edgy at all. So it's very frustrating. So I, I, for a while, I felt like the ISM server, other than my own, has basically been the only place I can go to talk about additions to my collections uh, and to talk about just like movies and things that I've been watching recently. I don't, I don't post in there super often, but it's very cool to be able to go in and post about something new that I've gotten in the mail. But now um, there's this big, massive news that the server is going to be deleted uh, sometime within the next 48 to 72 hours of me um, making this recording. And I was a bit confused because I didn't understand exactly what was happening. I, I, I sent in a message and they said, oh, there was drama. And I was like, what drama? Well, it turns out that in the general channel, which I've, I've muted because I'm in way too many discords. And so if I don't mute channels, then I literally will not be able to get anything done because I'll just be checking discord all day. Um, so it turns out there was this whole conversation and it all started at 1230 um, last night, I suppose, with Metalhead saying, yo, guess what? I turned 23 today. And so people started like saying, oh, happy birthday, whatever, all this stuff about, you know, getting old all these things um kind of like a weird post about it smelling like poop in an apartment building kind of felt out of place um uh, but then generally like we've got this whole conversation now where people are um not just talking about like getting older but also talking about like you know what it's like to be in relationship like i think here um you know we've got uh people talking about goals like e-productions here talking about some goals that he's got you know, including like, um, you know, being rich, getting married, all that, all that type of stuff, which is cool, which is cool. And then here we have people, you know, debating the ethics of cheating on a relationship and uh, polygamy, I suppose. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Y'all can have those debates if you want to. Uh, that's not necessarily what I came here to discuss, but it was a very interesting, um, very interesting conversation. But here we have E Productions, who's the person who said that one of his goals was 
to uh, be in a monogamous relationship, um, start a dialogue which ended up kind of spiraling into what caused all the drama in the first place. So it says here, I have a moral compass and loyalty. So yes, I will be loyal to the one. But the one is probably a few years down the road. I'll likely have to go through a few more trial and error runs before I find the perfect partner. And then um, Lennox. So also, quick aside, I don't understand why so many people are using the word partner. It's it's such a it's so weird to use that type of vocabulary, I feel like. Because like to me, it feels like you're trying to like hide the gender of the person that you like would like to be with or the person that you are with. So it's like I feel like it's either it either means that like you're like I, I feel like in general, like it's a term that most people would use like if they're gay or something, but they don't want to say that they're gay. So it's just like, oh, I'm a dude. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about my boyfriend. I'm just gonna say my partner. That's better. That works. Um, so, but it's 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 weird to see people who like I I, I don't think E Productions is gay. So I, I find it interest an interesting choice of words here. Uh, I just find it weird when straight people say partner. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, <laughs> that's an aside. That's an aside. Um, so Lennox O says that seems like a dumb question to ask. Honestly, I would rather have to stick with one person i'd imagine if the person was that great you wouldn't feel like you have to do that you're doing it for fun because <laughs> that person is so great um e production says well colin doesn't know how i'd be in a relationship and based off what he, i said in jest it is logical relationship on many respects is just a friendship but more intimate and then there's more stuff here going on talking about relationships or whatever um <clears throat> You know, talking about the ethics of using the B word, all that stuff. You know, classic, classic Discord conversations. Then Lennox O says, I'm sad for getting old. And and then uh, ISM says, y'all, most of you can't even drink yet. You're not getting old just yet. Which is true. Which is true. 100% accurate. 100% true. But it's it's a joke, right? And E-Production reiterates this, saying, guys, I'm only kidding. We're all going to die with, <laughs> with our cards in mint condition." uh we'll see we'll see um then who who is this person i, I don't know who, who this p person is um but the p person says time flies by faster than before so it feels like you're getting it feels like you're rapidly aging one year goes by so fast it's pathetic yeah that's, that's kind of true it's kind of true um but then e production says i can and i do i guess talking about drinking then ism says why are we getting so aggressive and then E-Productions says, I drink for party time. Now, I don't know how old E-Productions is, so I don't know if that is why ISM accused him of being aggressive. That part I did not understand when I was reading all these messages. But then Linux O says, people think I'm a PDF for being 19 years old, which <laughs> I got what he meant <laughs> as soon as he said it. In part because I've been watching lots of content from like Chalipi and stuff, and they've been talking about, you know, assault allegations and, um, and not just assault allegations, but like talking about like relationships and like age gaps and all of this stuff. When you get to certain age, things get icky or whatever. Um, there's been a lot of discussion along those lines in the YouTube commentary community. So I understood what he was talking about because, like, in the context of that, like, it kind of makes sense. Like, we're, we're, we're seeing on Twitter and X or whatever, people getting called creeps when they're like 20 years old for like being in relationships with people who are like 18 or 17 when the age gap is like three years old. So from that context, I, that's why I initially was connecting what Lennox O said to. Like he was joking around, like, right? He's like, oh, it sucks that like I'm getting this old because now if I get into a relationship with someone who's, you know, two years younger than me, then I'm going to get hit with the accusations, right? Ending my career or whatever. We're gonna end. I'm gonna. I'm about to end this whole guy's career, like those types of situations. So, like, I understood the joke, but then <laughs> ISM reacted by screaming, and uh, then he says, "I will delete the server," in all caps. And then E Production says, "Yay," and the DJL says, "Chill, y'all." And then people start realizing that he's being serious. If you actually look at the ISM server. It says ISM official DS, which is Discord, scheduled for deletion. So the server is about to get deleted, apparently. And we're seeing that, you know, this is not necessary. This is not just a joke. DJLL is here in the chat right now saying that she's currently going through it, which which sucks. Like, 
I don't even understand to your degree how much you're going to miss the server because I'm missing it for just one channel. You're missing it for the entire community. But DJL, who's a mod in the server, literally says, what happened to this family? That's that's her, her status, which is clearly in reference to what's going on in the ISM server. So ISM says, so long ISM server, Linux, uh, well, actually, uh, Linux will repost the, 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 um, the joke. And I think I noticed him do that a couple other times, which to be fair was to a degree obnoxious. Like I, I didn't think that was necessary. Um, <laughs> then someone says, huh? And DJL says, stop it. And then he production said, okay, then that happened. And ISM says, he he asks like he's worried about me getting older and acts like he's 10. <laughs> Which is another joke I appreciated because he's kind of true. It is kind of like an like a amateurish, relatively immature joke. Even if I would say it's 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 funny, you know, it's not appropriate, you know, it's joking about, you know, PDF related activities is not really something that you really want to do unless you know what you're doing and i don't think any of the people in, the, in that discord server are skilled comedians um e productions then begins to blame himself for the entire situation he says he says i feel like i should leave because mainly my messages were the catalyst for this um and then the, the p dude says I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the worry of getting old. I think it's natural for most young people to have thought at to to have that thought at least once, which is true. Isem says, Epro, you are our favorite person. That's cool. DJ L says, I just embrace it. Talking about Lenexo's behavior in the Discord, which is like I mean that it, 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 it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, we we all also understand, by the way. Right? P understands it was a joke. It was a joke. I understand that it was about a very dark and grave situation, right? A very dark and serious thing, but it still was a joke, right? Um, that's at least, you know, my perspective on the whole situation. He production says this isn't nice. I mean, yeah, it's not nice. It's it's still it's still a joke. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the P dude even says, anyone who's been here long enough knows it's a joke. And so then I, I hop in and I didn't understand what's happening. I was like, yo, wait, what, bro? Rip the server. And I'm posting it all of my emojis from my own Discord server. And then I was like, are we migrating to the promised land server or anything? Because there is actually an actual promised land uh, server. But I mean, it's dead. <laughs> like, it's completely dead. But I was like, are we going to move there? Because I know I knew that there were a bunch of like the promised land people still in the original promised land server. They just weren't posting in there. So I was like, maybe that server is going to get revived. But they were like, nope, nope. Now, I did get a more direct confirmation of exactly kind of like the direction that things are going in. So I literally said, like, I'm going to miss this channel so much because I will, you know, I'll be uh I'll have to resort to sending pictures of my new discs into my own Discord server, which is kind of dead at this point. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and ISM said the promised land is full of drama. And I said, I thought y'all left the drama behind, to be honest, which is true because I did make a whole video um, about like avoiding drama. And as soon as I put it out, like I think like Mr. Pizza and ISM, they were like, man, like that, that video is like a banger. We need to follow this advice because I was literally explaining why they were getting into so much drama. Um, they were like getting into all these crazy situations with the YTP community. I'm like, it's very clear. They're hanging out with people who have questionable behavior. Uh, and when you hang out with people who have questionable behavior, of course, eventually they're going to behave questionably towards you or towards other people. That's going to cause rifts. That's going to cause drama. Just stay away from those types of people and you'll be fine. And they were like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, like, set your boundaries, do all that stuff. And they were like, cool, cool, dope. So I was like, okay, cool. They're going to avoid drama. Well, I guess not, um, because this is happening here. Uh, ISM said it's the worst it's ever been, even without YouTube. And I said, I had no, no idea anything was happening. ISM says, it all unfolded this afternoon, and in an instant boom, the promise lane broke up. And I was like, in hindsight, I... Now, maybe there are conversations, right, that I'm not privy to, but to me, in my opinion, this kind of feels like a, a bit of an overreaction. 
um uh, first student xl says some things were said that were taken the wrong way Isaiah says we we were all lied to now i don't know what this is in reference to i don't know who did the lying or who lied or what like i'm a bit confused on that point i don't i don't know what the lies were i did go back and i understand kind of what he was saying but i don't i don't know about any lies um Isom said uh, lenny it was a whole thing and so mini wheat uh says he claimed that he had serious allegations about about being called an, an offender against children which is which not only raised some questions but was also a lie i just wanted some distance from him after that but mr pizza and bacon brett don't want to be friends with me if i'm not friends with nxo so they <laughs> okay that is that is petty that is petty. When I finish reading the message, I'm going to explain why. So they left the server and are never coming back. So what's the point of keeping the server if the promised land is broken up? Now, to be like, I'm not going to be friends with you if you're friends with him or if you stop being friends with him, then I'm not going to be friends with you. That's like playground nonsense. That's playground nonsense. Okay? Like, do I think ISM is overreacting? Sure. But he has, he has a right to react however he wants to this entire conversation he has a right to um to have whatever emotions regarding what was said that he wants that's completely fine let him be if he wants to make enemies out of people that doesn't mean you have to make an enemy out of him i don't understand that this is discord is not like a team sport where you have to like pick a side and then like stay along your side of the line it, it's it doesn't have to be like that now maybe i'm unique and this is not how people behave maybe people do ordinarily just like move in clicks and they're like oh if you're friends with him i'm not gonna be friends with you I'm like maybe that's a normal thing to do but i don't know that just sounds like immaturity to me maybe it is maybe it is normal and most people are just immature <laughs> that could be a possibility too but like i'm like especially because this seems like a knee-jerk reaction because this this conversation happened and then boom the server's gone and destroyed like it, it seems way too quick to me but that's the whole drama i uh, it, it sucks that the server's gonna get nuked but at the end of the day right it's it's a private platform this is this is isim's server he can decide to do whatever he wants to do with the server um i don't know if you're missing the server join mine i suppose but like i wish that the server would just stay up because, look, if ISM feels that what Linux O said was too inappropriate, um, which, I mean, to be fair, it's pretty edgy. Like, I don't I don't blame uh, I don't blame him for that. Like, you know, then kick him from the server. But that doesn't mean that you have to delete the server outright. I, I, I don't understand that mentality at all. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the, 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 the promise then gets back together in some capacity. Maybe they can take the old server and, like, bring it back up because the promised land server does still exist i know some people in the ism discord server were like oh i'm not gonna have the server uh up anymore because it's, it's not worth running if the if the um promised land is broken up but to me like that doesn't make sense like because there's still other people who like talking to each other it's not just about like the the core promised land people like there are more people like like me what if i were to talk to you guys <laughs> right like half of y'all are not in my discord server so i'm not and i'm not gonna beg on my hands and knees for you guys to join mine i'd rather just talk to you and yours so it's like it sucks man it sucks man <sighs> but this is such as the way of, of drama N very rarely do you find youtube drama that's based in like i don't know uh maturity <laughs> i suppose <laughs> i gotta undo that one new Oh, oh hey dude what's up <laughs> i apologize for the messy background I'm no you're, you're you're good you're good um there we go cool 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 looks like you're in away from that all right dude dude so how, how's it going right. bro i'm so glad i escaped the dreaded ytp community <laughs> and i'm making the other dream of doing music <laughs> i could not be happier with you guys. That's definitely a, a wise decision that you made there, I think. Um, let's see. So, did you want to talk at all about what, what, what what's going on with your Discord, or would you rather talk about, like, music stuff? How much, I mean, I have time for both, so... Okay. Take your pack. Um, 
I think with the, I think Discord, I think might be quicker depending on All right, how yeah, it goes. We'll Cause get that out of the way. So yeah. It's like, we got it. We got to address the allegations <laughs> and then we'll talk about the stuff that's, that's going good. Yeah. So, um, what is kind of, what was like your perspective on like everything that had happened in the server that kind of caused the drama? Cause from what I heard, basically it was a rift and not everyone wants to be friends with each other anymore. And then kind of what was your thought process on deciding to close that server down? All right, yeah, I saw your, when I saw your covering, I saw it that night. I only saw that bit of it because I, I, I read the title and I was like, well, I guess, I guess we have to watch <laughs> News Bee's covering of this now. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I can, it was, I didn't see, like, I didn't see any of this coming, you know, the promised land and breaking up. Mm -hmm. Hashtag promised land, hashtag promised land breakup trending right now. <laughs> but um, it was it was really strange because it seemed like kind of a I don't know how to put it like I wouldn't say that it was a normal conversation, but like yeah, not exactly, it seemed no. tame enough. Like even though yeah, like it was kind of like a little bit heavy with like well you know we're. I, know, I understand the concern of, like, you know, once you reach 20, like, you have to put things in perspective, like, what, you're, like, a fourth through fourth of the way through life now. We kind of look yeah, at society true. where it's, like, you get to 30 and you're expected to do X, Y, and Z, which I can get that, understand that perspective, but I also feel like I want to be a good example for, you know, the younger members of the Promised Lands who are you know, 18, 19, 20 years old, mm -hmm. just be like, you don't have to be, you know, so down in the dumps about it. You know? I mean, you can't even drink yet. You know, there's still things <laughs> that you're not old enough to do yet. It's not like yeah. the world is completely free to you right now. So it's like, enjoy, enjoy your youth while you can, which... Yeah, you can still get, get uh, you can still do crime and, you know, get hit with fewer penalties because <laughs> you're a minor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I don't think anybody who was in the in that group would do anything like that <laughs> until uh, until out of nowhere like absolutely nowhere YT Lennox so says I was I'm accused of being like an alleged offender against children now he said that twice out of nowhere yeah and that kind of put me over the edge because why what, what's what's the point of saying that you know <laughs> i feel like the only reason like why would you say that you're a ledge you know like that was just like immediately suspicion for me now i know i know linux so i know alex M. we've we've hung out in real life i think you <laughs> saw the vlog and everything yeah that was pretty dope. So, but true but like also like you know, like affairs get hidden, marriages and stuff like that. Maybe friend groups have, you know, secrets too. So, I mean, not that I would ever, like, flat out accuse him. Like, you said that you were accused of it. Mm -hmm. You are guilty until proven innocent. That, no, that's not the case. But that just made me kind of cautious. An immediate backlash from the group for me even being cautious because I was caught off guard by something like that that was being said mm -hmm. um and even being caused to that asking questions was enough to like raise the stress level to 99 percent ah i see because th th it was just then it started spiraling into well because then let so didn't talk to me right away it was it was mr pizza you know mm. um immediately rushing to his defense and not letting let so speak for himself just Oh, you know, like, he gets his words mixed up sometimes, you know? He didn't actually do it, and if he did do it, he didn't mean it, and if he did mean it, then other people have done worse, you know? You don't let that destroy anything. Uh, mm. Yeah, it was... And then he said, well, he was gonna explain what happened, and then you muted him in the server, and then we all left. Did you, did you mute him? I muted him after he said he was... He was an alleged offender against children twice, because hmm. he had he said it twice. Like what? What was the point of doing that? You cross the line by doing it once. So you send the most like alarming thing that you have ever sent in the server 
twice yeah. in a row, like to get people's attention and get people to react to that. And I wanted that to be suppressed immediately because I didn't know what was going to happen happen from there. Um, yeah, so then everyone left after I had had my suspicions of him even just saying things like that. And so then he, um, well, next time he messaged me, he, I'm just like, go on, tell the rest of the story. Mm-hmm. So apparently what happened was he was back at home and like, he's, he's a freshman in college, so we still have some friends that are in high school, which is fine. I think it's fine. Um, and like, they went bowling, they had a good time. Um, I don't, I never like learned how young the, uh, the high school friends were, but like, not that it really matters. But apparently a friend of a friend was also there and said that they just, quote, got creepy vibes from Lennox O because he was still hanging out with his high school friends. And I responded, you know, are you kidding me? Like, why you made the biggest mound out of a molehill? Like, someone would, like, just told you that they just felt kind of weirded out that, you know, you're still friends with your high school friends. And even though, like, I disagree with that. Yeah. To say that you are a convicted or, a, like, alleged offender against children because somebody who you met was suspicious that you were just hanging out with your friends who are younger than you. Like, why would you ever bring attention to that? It's like, not only did you lie to me, but you made yourself look really bad in the process. Now everyone's mad at me for some reason. Um, And then the promised land broke up, you know? Hmm. I did not see any of this happening, you know? And well, actually what ended up happening after that was I kind of wanted some, some space from Lennox O after that because I just don't, you know, I don't want to be talking every day to someone, you know, who's going to say wild stuff like that. Like, people are outright accusing me of being an offender against children, which you don't ever do that. You know? Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted some space from for a while. But then, you know, like you said, it's playground behavior. It's like, oh, if you're not friends with him, then I can't be friends with you. Make an enemy out of me. Yeah. Yeah, so... The Promised Land, we, we split down the middle. An alliance was formed. It was <laughs> Mr. Pizza, Lennox O, and Baron Brett, and then me, DJL, and Big L, Seymour, SP, Alex, whatever you want to call him. Hmm. Um, yeah, and that's where we're at right now. And about deleting the server, I really don't want to because of all the memories and all the emojis and everything. And but you know the essential people that you know founded it and were keeping it active every single day are the ones that now have made an enemy out of me. Hmm. Um, and it kind of just shows like where it's at. You know, they don't even care that I'm. I said that, you know, I'm deleting the thing that they have made their routine every single day. I haven't talked to anybody since. Um, so either they're fine with it, like, it's over for real, or it's like, maybe the ball's in my court, I don't know. Because I don't feel like I have to be sorry for anything. The only thing I have to be sorry about is using the derogatory F slur, because I got pretty mad. When I found out that Lennox so lied to me, what? which I already what? apologized for Wait. that. Wait, when, when, when did this happen? What? No, when when he, he was explain, when I was explaining to him. I think I, I must have missed that. You don't, why, I explained to him why like you don't put words in other people's mouths to hmm. make it look like you're like the biggest victim ever. And then I just got so frustrated at that moment. I said, that doesn't mean you can put words in people's mouths to you certain hmm. word that I thought I removed from my vocabulary, so I'm in the wrong there, you know, every time yeah. I've had stuff like this go on I'll always take accountability for saying words like that with all the past YouTube drama but it's like, even without YouTube this happened, and now the promise I has broken up, I don't know what's going to happen to the server, honestly because like we still used it a little bit because things like, you know film discussion, music discussions mm-hmm. we still 
the three of us that are still active still like talking those, but you know, I still had classes the next day, and I like to talk in the server during my classes, but no, but you know, people left. Um, but maybe I was being a little too dependent on it, anyways. Mm. It's not that like I don't have real friends, and I'm like putting you know my YouTube friends, which most I do know in real life, on a pedestal, but. I don't know, man. It's, it's. I. I mean, it's sad. I don't want it to be that. You know, this is the end, because you know, Mr. Pizza. We do hang out in real life. Whenever I go back to my hometown, we've always hung out. Nice. I don't. You know. Do you think that's something that will continue? What will continue? Like, we'll hang out again, or the, just the silence? Of, oh, that you'll, that no. you'll, you'll, you'll keep hanging out. Well, I don't. It's up in the air right now, hmm. since nobody said anything for several days. Hmm. I mean, I want, you know, everything to get back together, but I don't want to say that the ball is in my court, because I don't really think it is. You know? Yeah. The, the impression I, think, I get is like, it's kind of neutral. Like, it, anyone could pick the baton up I'm, and... at this point i've i've gone to neutral at this point i still yeah. think that linux have made a big mistake of you know putting words in people's mouths and making himself look as bad as he possibly could you know and it seemed like for attention at that point because he said it twice <laughs> um and then with other people rushing to his defense about everything it's it's like an alliance was already formed before that. And something that's like, we've bickered in the server before, but like, it's never broken up the promised land. You know? hmm. But it's like, because I was upset with him the one time he made a, he made a YouTube video about an offender against children, which I had a problem with that because like, he's not a drama YouTuber. Like, hmm. if you want to be like, fine, that's one thing. Right. But my problem with that was just the reason I, like, then the argument went back to, um, you know, you made videos on CWB. I'm just like, yeah, because that was something that was happening in our community. Like, yeah, we were right. involved in that. Yeah, I'm not talking like if you want to report about like something that happened in the My Little Pony community, because I think <laughs> that's what it was about. Why would you bring attention to that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was just like upset with that at the moment. But it's like it's YouTube. It's petty. It's whatever. And we got over that. Um, but this just felt so much bigger even though that's not at all what what I wanted so now we're just kind of back to neutral so it's like if they don't reach out I don't feel like I need to reach out like it's I've had like friend breakups before hmm. and it all just kind of depends on like who makes the first move and whatever yeah because I don't want to be like oh I don't need you anymore I never needed you which I mean I'm gonna be fine if if you know the promised land doesn't get back together but mm -hmm. it's really sad we threw away something that has lasted for years over one over one little thing that got blown way out of proportion hmm. um well i guess one question is so with with Len with what lennox had sent that kind of kicked off the whole thing so was he was, was he being 100 percent serious because i thought that he was making some sort of joke kind of on all the no, lines of serious. like oh like yeah, i just turned i just turned 21 so i guess i can't date 18 year olds anymore like i, I thought i thought that's no, kind of serious. like along he the lines serious. of okay because also when he said it like twice i thought it was like kind of like what you said like i thought it was a uh like trying to get attention for it but also mm -hmm. to be like Oh, hey guys! I I said this joke and y'all didn't laugh. Like, did you hear me? Like, I, like that's kind of well, the impression. No, this that I time got it from was. Me. I'm trying to tell you about these allegations against me, and you didn't pay attention. Huh? Well, that's kind of weird because when you put it in that perspective, like <laughs> using like SA allegations against yourself for clout is weird. <laughs> like that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't make any any sense at all. So, yeah, I'm struggling to find why he did that. Yeah, so with with the added context that he was being serious, then I can kind of understand better uh, your reaction, I think. And here's another thing, too, about that. We've had a rule where when things get, like, as private as that, you know, 
we had like a private group chat that wasn't in the server you know mm-hmm. like if you have serious like actual allegations against you like that mm-hmm. you're not gonna put that say that during the server while things are already heated like mm-hmm. that was the worst possible time he could have said that mm-hmm. of course that was what kind of put me over the edge and muted him and then that just caused it to be like the worst possible communication ever and at least then we'll be able to say you know just like calmly you know don't be putting words in people's mouths i know you're frustrated that you know not everyone was like accepted accepting that you know you still want to hang out with your high school friends but to go as far as to say you know i'm being called an offender against children like let's let's not (laughs) let's not put words in people's mouths here but it could have gone calmly you know right but it didn't go calmly it was this big thing yeah huh yeah, I don't. I mean, I understand why, in the context of that conversation, that's something that he would consider bringing up, even though, you know, kind of making the conversation about yourself when it's you know it's a, the whole conversation about somebody else's birthday. But all all of that aside, like, in the, you're right. There's a way that he could have put it that was like less inflammatory. I mean, he could have even like asked for support, being like, "Hey guys, like these people said I was weird or, or creepy or whatever," like am I wrong here or whatever? And just, and like ask for like friendly support, which is what I feel like would be like a normal thing to do. You know, that should have been the proper communication if it had to be said. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, that's unfortunate. And like, I have no major stake in the server. I haven't invested like crazy amounts of time into it at all. Mm -hmm. Like I, I kind of missed a lot of what had happened and I had to like go back and, and read back. But I don't know. I'm I'm kind of hoping that you guys can find some way to keep it together, even if it means like I don't know, kicking some people out and everyone else who's there stays. But I guess kind of you make a good point that part of the problem is is that the rift is between the people who are making the server like mm. as busy as it was, you know. I mean, from the outside looking in, I look on the server and I see that there are like a bunch of other people who aren't like I guess like the big four, big five or whatever. But oh, yeah, like the three people that are on right now, they haven't said a word in months, maybe years. Yeah. It's like one of the you know the rule of Discord, you know, like you join a server, you almost never leave unless something actually happens where you see it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So That's like likely the case with most of the members on the server, honestly. Yeah. And, and and part of it too is like I I don't know I didn't know who was active and who was it like going in. So I just see all these people like, oh, oh, Alex Hall, CJMBX, uh for first suit XL. Like, ah, those guys like shouldn't get like kicked from like the server that they've been on for a while. Um, but it's possible that they also like probably don't care very much because they probably don't <laughs> don't say say much at all. Except for Suit XL. Who, who is that? Is that Baron Barrett or is that someone else? No, that's that's um, Alex Ness. Oh. Ah, see, yeah, people use different different usernames in like YouTube <laughs> and Discord, so it's easy <laughs> to get people mixed up. So, yeah, well, I guess that's that for the the Discord drama, I guess. But defiant. But uh, yeah, let me let me go ahead and pull this up because I actually have access to the Discord server. So for those of you who are familiar with my streams, familiar with my community, there is overlap between my um, streaming community, I call it the Bread Gang, and this other internet community that's uh, they, they're generally just called like the Promised Land would be the, the best way to, um, to describe them. Um, hold on, let me see here. And oh wait, hold on. Where where can I where can I find them? Uh oh, that's weird. I'm having trouble finding the links. But um, sorry, I should have. You know what? I prepped screenshots. I should actually just go to the screenshots rather than going to the Discord server. Uh, that'd be an easier way to go. Uh, hold on. Let me let me pull these up here. Okay. And can I can I hit the left and right buttons on these? Okay, looks like I can. Okay, so 
if you guys are familiar with all the drama that's been going on in the promised land server um but there hadn't really been a whole lot happening uh there were some like rumors that stuff would happen because lennox o um made some sort of i think uh ill-worded and ill-timed joke and that kind of caused it up for a lot of people wanted to cancel him over the joke um, but ISM uh, decided to keep the rest of the Discord server from doing so because he wanted to collaborate with him on an upcoming album. And of course, you can't really collaborate with someone if you've, you know, kicked them out of your friend group, right? So, um, and so that kind of held the the friend group together for a while. But now there's even more drama. So this all started, it looks like, um, on the first of the month. Where Lennox O um, was reacting to how um, Mr. Beast was starting to creep up on T-Series. And um, I, in the end, they did end up surpassing T-Series. But he says here, um, Mr. Beast is going to surpass T-Series. And then um, the uh, ISM says, the end times are here. And then Seymour Fox says, they sure are. Um, and then, uh, you know, Baron Brett says that he hopes that... Uh, Mr. Beast passes T-Series. ISM says that he hates Mr. Beast and has no respect for him. DJ says same. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand the hate for Mr. Beast, honestly. I think that, like, the content is, like, it's, like, very, very high-paced and highly produced. Um, I don't know. It's just, like, a lot of, it's not garbage. I don't think it's the right way to put it, but it's just, like, it's like a contest show and contest shows have never really been for me. It kind of feels like a format for like middle-aged to older adults on cable television that has been like somehow repurposed for the internet. Um, it's, it's, it's not, it's not really my thing, but you know, for the people who enjoy it, it's fine. Mr. Beast also does like some really good altruistic stuff. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to hate him for, for doing that stuff either. Like, you know, the dude's building wells in Africa, okay? Not not a whole lot of content creators are doing stuff that's, uh, you know, that's that good. But anyways, to continue, uh, Baron Brett says, uh, I don't watch his content, but honestly, I want T-Series dethroned, which is fair, right? A lot of people weren't happy that T-Series beat PewDiePie because T-Series is a channel that's, that's uh, basically some, like, mega corporate media company or something. It'd be like if Marvel became the number one YouTube channel. It's like... A lot of people who are fans of like the YouTube culture and YouTube as a platform really want the number one subscribed YouTube channel to be one that's run by a person. And while Mr. Beast does have a whole team behind him, it is at the end of the day still a uh, a YouTube channel that is helmed um, at least or at least headlined by one individual dude. So um, Seymour Fox says like, oop, basically in emoji form. <clears throat> then Baron Brett says, we all knew this day would eventually come. Ooh, mini week uh, sh shoots some fire. Merely. He shot some. He shot some fire chat, at uh, the T series at, war uh, is back. Uh, Mr. Beast. This he is says, a "I don't believe." History. Hold on. Merely says the T series war is back. This is a moment in history. Oh yeah, no. T, T series is number two again. Mr. Beast um, surpassed T series. Uh, but that, but that, that's that is what uh, what would uh, caused this massive rift in the promised land. If you could believe it, it's. it's <laughs> The way that this community attracts drama to themselves, like they're like a bonfire, and literally everyone in the proximity is just a an amalgamation and collection of flies, is frankly uh, stunning. <laughs> if they were all still making content, they could literally farm each other uh, like for drama for for ages and ages. Like you have all the recipe here for like a youtube community that's like kind of similar to um what you saw around uh like twitch gate and a little bit before where it's just content creators talking about drama getting into drama getting into beef and all of that boosting up their their uh their viewership and and um and you know in stats and stuff like these people really should have capitalized on all the Merely. drama that they've created but nope said in the nope. chat <laughs> it is what Magnet it is it put is. in the ocean of drama lma literally literally um, but let's keep going here. I don't believe a bland, soulless, misleading BS clickbait channel like Mr. Beast that only gained popularity because kids are excited when they see how much money he has to dethrone the monopoly of Indian entertainment. Why 
he's not he's not I, I don't, he's not really that misleading is he i mean i haven't heard a case of him doing like misleading clickbait but i could be wrong like i thought it was just basically like i don't know logan paul and jake paul's vlogs except for better with people who are richer and kinder and actually want to use their stuff to uh you know give to others at some point right in, in, in some instance rather than just you know riding dirt bikes over their girlfriends and stuff <laughs> um like mr beast has gone downhill so fast not to mention all the shady stuff that goes on behind the, those videos in recent years what what shady stuff i follow youtube drama and i have not heard a peep about shady stuff in the background the shadiest thing that happened in the entire team of mr beast's uh you know content creation was when that one dude chris started like taking estrogen that was like the shadiest thing that i've heard <laughs> that's the shadiest thing that ever happened on the mr beast channel everything else seems to be squeaky clean to me now maybe maybe there are some like unsubstantiated claims but i haven't i haven't heard any anything serious that was proven i don't really like to pay much attention to unsubstantiated claims i, I don't think it's really worth it uh, it says here, T-Series doesn't appeal to to hardly anyone outside of India and uh, Pakistan or anyone who appreciates Indian entertainment, but come on, I believe they need to stay on top. Why? <laughs> Why? It completely makes sense that you would want to have so a YouTuber who actually makes content be number one over some big like multimedia conglomerate. Like, it's fine. Um, then Baron Brett says, my friend just sent me this, and this is with Mr. Beast beating T-Series, and the raid of T-Series is over. Now, Baron Brett does a, a cute, a cute little salute here. And ISM responds in, in the most measured way possible. He says, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this up. Oh, sorry. I, I just realized for some of these screenshots, my my uh, my my webcam was covering the screen. Yeah, these are all of the uh, screenshots here so far. So next time I go to a screenshot, I'll, I'll remove my my webcam again. But um, yeah, ISM says you're racist, <laughs> and Ben Britt says, "Huh?" And Zebra Fox shows like the Photoshop thing of Daniel Lord doing like the 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 triple K thing, and. Like, <laughs> I Ism. mean, that's one way Sit to go from chat. zero to one hundred. That's drama. one way to do it. Oh yes, I have the drama. I am, I am, I am talking about. It. I am going through it. Um, but there's one way to go from zero to one hundred in a second, just to like call someone racist for <laughs> for bringing up how <laughs> Mr. Beast is beaten T series. Um, that that's 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 a super cool thing to do. <laughs> um, but then. Mini Wheat says, you hate Indian people. <laughs> Which, like, is also an interesting thing to say. And then Ben Brett says, um, okay, well, that's not true. Then, um, then ISM says, you're celebrating a straight white conservative man's victory Ism. over Set the in entire the country of India. I will you're watch from the more beginning so I won't be able to hear what Ism. you're saying in real time. Oh, okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Um... Oh, hold on, wait. Let me let me change this. I want to make sure that I'm not messing this up. Um, okay. Um, Isub says you're celebrating a straight white conservative man's victory over the entire country of India. You're literally more racist than, and I don't know who, who that who that person is. Uh, then Bear Brist says I wasn't trying to be racist, huh? And then Zebra Fox says what? Then Isub says racist people don't have to try to be racist to be racist. We could cancel you for this. And Zebra Fox is like. You know sticking that finger up and i'm like <laughs> and honestly like that's a completely fair reaction like <laughs> bro if you're gonna if you're gonna call someone racist for celebrating like a straight white conservative being successful in the field and getting number one like <laughs> oh well the the word racism has no functional meaning um, beyond hey you're bad like the way that people use fascism the way that people use nazi uh the way that people use extremists all those things people like to use those words and and point the finger at other people and be like hey you're bad and then just use that word as a pejorative that doesn't really describe the actual intent or beliefs of that individual person um 
And so, like, the proper response is to be like, oh, you're going to call me racist? Well, I don't care. Like, and then keep it pushing. Keep it moving. Right? I love it. I love to see when, see when people do that. So, Seymour Fox did that here. ISM uh, then responds and says, your name could be added to a long list of people who, that are also canceled, and there would be nothing you could do about it. And then Baron Brett says, don't tell me this is going to turn into the return of Charmex Set Incident 2.0, where My you were just messing is why with did me we bring about canceling stuff me. like conservative to bring into racism. And it's very interesting that Baron Brett brings this up, and I'll explain why it's very interesting later. And then, I, and then ISM says, I mean, there's nothing stopping me from canceling you in the ISM server right now. And then Seymour Fox says, okay, that's enough. And, you know, honestly, <laughs> he's right. Merely. Like, that, is, that was chat. certainly getting out of hand. Seymour um, personally quite just quickly. celebrating MR Beast's success Mer- isn't necessarily racist. They JST mm. blowing this Mer- out Mer- of said, proportion Mer- for Mer- me why, at least. Uh, what, my only question is why did we bring polit- politic related stuff like conservative to bring into racism? Mm-hmm. Um,. Because see, look, look. If you're if you're white, hey, that's already bad enough. But if you're white and and conservative, double trouble, my friend. No, no, no. The the gates of Hades are waiting for you. <laughs> that's that's basically how a lot of like left wingers will will view white people who are conservative or, or, or white white people who are christian they, they they basically make no functional distinction between christian and conservative which is uh, on its own a little bit funny <laughs> but uh but a lot of people on the left will go hey you're you're white and you're conservative and you're straight man three strikes you're out you're a bad person uh so that's kind of like the type of stuff that ISM is referring to here. But let's continue because there's more context that I do want to bring into the picture. That's not all that's going on here. So, remember it says I'll talk more about this later. Right now I'm busy with stuff. And then um, and then ISM says... Merely. Uh, <laughs> the said in the chat, <laughs> if you're white, that's already bad enough. The way Yo. I could clip that with no context, LOL. Yo, well, hey, that's one way the girl's a content creator get ripped out of context get called racist people are like huh and then they watch your content and booyah more views so <laughs> but no i'm not gonna get the possibility that i could get clipped out of context uh, i'm not gonna keep, let that keep me from making jokes so uh, <laughs> uh let's see here ism says i don't think we should ever talk about i think mr uh mr beast I think Mr. Beast here. Seymour Fox said he is pretty bad. ISM said, you already know my opinion by defending him, so you're just risking yourself getting canceled. You'll get canceled and you won't have a job anymore. Which is like, <laughs> oh my goodness. The ISM official Discord server is going to keep me from getting a job. Like, <laughs> This is all kind of like ridiculous, honestly. And then Mr. Pizza jumps in and says, I respect your opinion. Baron Brett says, okay, I'm back. Baron Brett then says, I will agree with this rule as long as we're all cool with it. Which is interesting i don't know why you would agree to this rule because it's extremely stupid um ism makes a sense a gif man brett says bruh <clears throat> then lennox o responds and he says and this is where lennox o comes to the picture he says honestly i feel like we can't talk about anyone in here lol um and then and then ism says what are you talking about and then lennox, uh, lennox o says it's like whenever someone talks about a youtuber that they like they get hated for it and then uh, Mini Wheat says, I know clue what you're talking about. And then Lennox O, names, names. <clears throat> it says, like, I like the one giant onion and you somehow want to ban people for just that only. And then um, ISM says, why do you support him? I think he's talking about the, the one giant onion, which is like interesting. And then Seymour Fox says, I mean, it's toxic content. And then Lennox O says, I'm being hypothetical. And then P- Mr. Pizza says, Letty, just drop it, please, and thank you. I don't understand why people are getting on Len- Lennox's case because he's basically saying, you know what? I don't like names being blacklisted on the server because I'm in a literal YouTube discussion channel. I want to talk about a YouTuber, but you guys keep blacklisting YouTubers so I can't talk about them. Uh, like, that's a fair critique, right? And so everyone's getting all up in his case like, hey, Stop complaining about not being able to talk about YouTubers in the YouTube channel. That's absolutely perfectly normal behavior. That's normal policies for a YouTube discussion Discord channel. <laughs> so, like, it's it's super strange everyone else is behaving here. Um, 
Uh, then Langston like so says, if, I'm saying if I liked him. And then Mr. Pizza says, you're not making this situation better. I don't know why people are acting like he's doing something bad here by using this guy as an example. Um, then he says, I agree with Flame Grilled. Oh, Flame Grilled. Mr. Pizza, I guess. Uh, uh, Pizza King says, uh, Mr. Pizza, everyone can have their opinions. Let's leave it at that. He seems extremely non-confrontational in this entire uh, exchange. Um, Lenny so says, even Baron feels exactly the same way. Lenny says, and then ISM says, Lenny, you aren't accomplishing anything by claiming this. I mean, but like, if he's right, he's right. Like, like I know, I, I know that in the past they have blacklisted YouTuber names. Like, I think they were like, you're not, you're not supposed to talk about Daniel Lord. Uh, I think there were other content creators. I don't know if those things have ended up getting like revoked. I do know that Mr. Pizza, uh, I think, did or does work with, um, with Daniel Lord. Like, there's a whole video on my YouTube channel called like they 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 forgave him or something where it talks about how. Um, Mr. Pizza forgave Daniel Lord and they started collabing again. So, like, I don't know if blacklisting YouTubers is still something that they're doing, but with these statements here, statements here, it seems like ISM is um, blacklisting Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast from the YouTube discussion channel. Now, there's additional context to that that I will get to once I finish going through all these these receipts here. But let's keep going. <clears throat> um, like so says. Um, I don't need to. All I wanted was your guy's attention. Kind of an interesting thing to say as well. I'm not sure why. Like, just saying that you're just, like, grifting for attention is, like, a pretty bad way to go about it if that's what you're actually trying to do. I'm not sure why he said that here. I some said Baron can speak for himself. And then um, Mini Wheat just calls him attention-seeking, which is literally what he's saying. And then Seymour Fox says, moving on. And then Mini Wheat says the key thing here, which is, that was a joke, by the way. Which, I mean, honestly, it was like a terrible joke. It, it fell flat. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. Wasn't funny. Um, it did not even read like a joke at all. So I could completely understand why um, Lennox So took it so seriously. Because a lot of other people seem to be taking it seriously. Um, it, it just made made sense. And Linux, so I'm not going to take that to heart. There's more stuff. Oh, actually, that's that's it. That's the end. So after that, I mean, it seemed like everything was like chill-ish. Like people were sort of, they got amped up at the beginning, of course. But then after a while, stuff tapered off and it seemed, everything seems to have gotten uh, calmed down again. However, I then got a message. I'm not going to leak DMs because I don't, I don't leak DMs. Um, but... Uh, hold on. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing new. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, um, before I keep going. So then I got a message from Lennox O where, or not Lennox O, I got a message from ISM where he basically said that the entire promised land had fell apart. It all crumbled and came crashing to the ground. And I was a little bit confused because I was like, huh? Um, but then he went on to explain that the, 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 the promised land group as a whole didn't really fall apart, but Linux O just left these ISM discord server, um, in large part because of the remarks that he had from ISM that he had taken so seriously, um, about not being allowed to talk about Mr. Beast and how he felt suffocated in the discord channel about YouTube discussion for not being able to talk about, uh, a, a specific YouTuber and, you know, it kind of sucks, but to be honest, I think it completely makes sense that Linux O would want to leave the server. Because if you're if you want to speak freely, but the play the venue where you're trying to speak about a specific topic or on a specific hobby is is constantly being hampered by these sort of uh counterintuitive rules, right? Like, oh, it's YouTube. It's a YouTube server. You can talk about YouTubers, except not that super popular one who's literally the number one most subscribed to YouTube channel on the planet right now. Like, and it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we, build, are we building like a fan club for a particular person? Um, like, are we trying to create a hug box or an echo chamber where, we, where we're not allowed to um, talk about somebody in particular? Like, like it's like, like we're like in a, a part of a cult or something. So, like, I... I'm not going to hate on Linux though at all really for leaving the server because um, 
That kind of makes sense. And if and if I had to put up with years of being in a server where certain names are blacklisted, I mean, I might leave as well, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. Even if what ISM said was a joke, it's like, dude, the, it's kind of lame to blacklist all these names. Do we want to really keep on sitting through th th those types of policies? Clearly, Linux, though, did not. But um, I was just surprised by uh, ISM's initial wording because he, he made it seem like the entire... Promising group had fallen apart, but really, ISM just, uh, sorry, not ISM, uh, Linux, though, had just left the Discord server. Now, one thing I wanted to ask ISM about the whole situation in considering this drama is that uh, ISM had earlier told me that uh, the main reason why he didn't remove uh, Linux though, from the server earlier for the joke that he made, even though he wanted to, was because um, there was, he, he's working on a new album. And he really wanted Linux though, to be a part of this upcoming album. He was like, man, no, I, I need him for this album. Like, like, like I, I got to do whatever I can to get this album out. And if that means keeping him in the server when I don't want him to be in there, then that's what it takes. Um, and so, well, let me see here. And so, yeah, so um, I was like, okay, interesting. Like, I don't want you to like, you know, betray your your ethics and morals but if that's what you want to do then that's what you want to do go ahead and do it um but now talking to him after linux has left the discord server um where ism at least from what i can tell feels like his friendship connection to linux o has now been severed now ism is like oh well i never needed him on the album like his role was replaceable i could just get anyone to to play his role which to me, I'm like, huh? Huh? Because, like, he took great pains to keep him around so that he could be the album, only for him to leave, and then you're just like, oh, anyone could have done what he did. Now, I myself was 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 uh was a little bit dubious that he was so irreplaceable to begin with. Like I was like, why do you need Lennox so on this album? Don't don't because because ism by the way doesn't really do youtube anymore he makes music so like don't mix in like work and pleasure right like don't mix up your friend's personal life and your your content creation life with you with music which is more like a career i would say than content creation uh especially when things relationally seem to be on the rocks just keep your friends your friends and keep keep your, your music people your music people like that, that's really the way you should be um but ism didn't want to do that and somehow he, he he feels now that like this is not going to affect the the creation of the, of his album. Maybe it won't. I hope that it doesn't. But I was just surprised by how nonchalantly he was like, "Oh well, hey, I can just get somebody else to to play the the, the same role." Um, so that kind of flip flop confused me a little bit. That's why mm -hmm. I, like I asked him like a Sit couple times, chat. like, "Yeah, you sure? I never you, needed him really on want, the album. Didn't really need this dude." Uh, I said, I never needed him on the album. Well, I mean, you certainly could have acted like it. Like, you were like, oh, you know, man, like anything to keep this album, uh, anything to make sure that this album comes out. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to cancel him. I'm not going to kick him off the server because I need, I'm, 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 you know, I just got to do this for the album. And like, I was like, you need him for the album? I guess, I guess now he's saying that he didn't. But I, I, I was, at least the way that he made it seem, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to verbatim quote, uh, you know, full length discord messages but he made it seem to me like it was like he needed him on the album and that, that that's why he kept him in the discord server but in any case in any case this 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 drama is in my opinion a little bit ridiculous a little bit ridiculous and i think part of it is like i think i think to a certain degree this is caused by too much gatekeeping right like it's discord so i can't technically have my discord server be like a, a a haven for free speech one might say but i try to keep things a little loose like as long as you're being clean and classy like well clean to relative degrees but if <laughs> as long as you're keeping things classy i think my old motto was keep it keep it cool keep it classy or keep it clean keep it classy whatever as long as you're keeping things classy in the server you're not gonna get any smoke from me if you want to debate me you can at me and, and we can have at it but in general, like, I don't want my server to be fostering beef. And so part of that is, is, is not good. Is, part of that, too, is not going to be like, I'm not going to demonize someone for, for collaborating with someone or, um, you know, associating with someone. And if you want to make content with a certain content creator or if you like a certain YouTuber that I don't like, I have the right to be like, you know what? 
you can like who you like, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like that content or I'm not gonna affirm that creator or like condone that creator's behavior. And 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 I think that it's good to have that type of freedom in a Discord server where you're trying to l allow it to grow, trying to get in more people, trying to build up a community. You don't build up a community by telling the people in the community who you're not allowed to talk talk to or what what you're not allowed to talk about, right? That's how you like stifle things. That's how you like control things. And I, and I understand that a lot of people kind of come kind of out of the mindset where, um, you know. If a if an environment is toxic or hostile, or whatever, um, what you should really do is get your fingers in there and get your hands in there, and then try to like micromanage everything to make sure that people behave a certain way. But in, in practicality, I don't really think that things play out quite so easily. That said, it's my Discord server. If I want to boot somebody else, like somebody out of it, I can. But I, I would try not to, and I would try not to run around being like hey you're not allowed to talk to mr beast now to be fair ism did clarify that the whole mr beast thing was a joke but it didn't really read like a joke um it, it was extremely deadpan and i it, as a joke i think it was it was pretty poorly executed so i guess the, the final question said in the chat um oh the, the server, server has been closed for months it's That's more fair. of like a glorified group chat that's fair. That explains why I haven't seen like new people there for like the longest time. Uh, but yeah, so I guess the final question really is um, what's next for the promised land? And for that question, if the answer to that question is, uh, I don't really know. ISM has, has told me that he, he feels like the, the, the promised land is over, but at the same time, like no one else other than Lennox O seems to have left the ISM official discord server. So, you know, is, is it really destroying the entire friend group if, like, one out of a group of ten leaves? No. No. Not really. And there is a chance that people could still communicate with each other in, 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 in men fences, whether that be in my Discord, through their own DMs. I think there's another Promised Land Discord that still exists for some reason. Um, so, you know, it, the, the Promised Land, to me, doesn't seem like it's going away anytime soon because... Literally everyone is still in the group except for Lennox O. Um, so I, I feel like the group is not necessarily dead. People are still posting in the, the various channels. Uh, so I frankly wouldn't be too concerned if you're a fan of the Promised Land or if you're part of the Promised Land yourself. I would not stress about the, the future of the group. The, the, the future seems secure. Pretty much everyone seems to be in line with what ISM was saying. So that means that uh, there really shouldn't be any problems. Uh, what, what's next for Lennox O? I don't know. I think the, I think he's still making uh, content. Yeah, I would I'd be interested in having him on on the uh, on the channel, like through like an interview form, to have him like talk about his side of the whole situation. I know I know that I've had ISM on to talk about his side of the whole situation, so it'd be interesting to to, to see like you know the other side. But you know, at, at the end of the day, I, I think that this was extremely needless right extremely needless a conversation about mr beast turns into someone getting like turned on by the rest of the community to the point where he leaves like they, they the other folks did seem to kind of drive him away kind of by like ganging up on him and being like shut up quiet you're not helping things when when like very um simply kind of pointing out that you know maybe you shouldn't ban mr beast's name <laughs> from a youtube discussion channel in a discord server you know, so, um, but yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much my thoughts. I honestly don't have any super strong thoughts because at the end of the day, ISM also like has the right to do whatever he wants with the server. So if he wants to make poor jokes about banning Mr. Beast, then that's fine. And hey, if he wants to actually ban Mr. Beast from his, his server, that's fine as well. That's not what I would do. Because I don't think that's conducive to growth of a Discord server. But, like, you know, he also made a good point that it's a glorified group chat. So it's not like he's trying to uh, to make it be, like, the biggest Discord server in the world either. But just to me, I feel like if we're trying to, if we're trying to foster a community, the, the way to do that is not by telling people what not to say. So those are my thoughts so far. 
we'll see how long this drama gets dragged out. I actually have planned on taking all the segments where I've talked about the drama so far and stitching them together and do this extremely long video. It's probably going to be like two and a half hours long or something ridiculous like that because we've got like multiple readouts of, of Discord um, server messages. Uh, an interview with ISM. We've got this segment as well. We, we, I, I, I would hope to have um, Linux so on the, the, uh, the channel too to talk about the whole situation. So it's just a lot. It's just a lot. And I don't want to be putting out like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of, of videos about the same drama. Like once the drama ends or I feel like the drama is over, then I'll just make one video. I'm not going to milk this for, for content of the non-newbie highlights channel. I know some of y'all might be like, oh, well, you're, 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 you've done multiple segments about it on the streams channel. Well, the streams channel is not really like the main. It's like the, the non-newbie highlights channel is basically the main now. I post there three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon. So um, if I was milking said this... in the chat. Oh. Good coverage. Oh, thanks, Isa. Thanks, I appreciate, I appreciate that. Uh, if I was milking this, I'd be posting videos every single week about this drama. I'd be taking my interview with ISM and chopping it up like a, like a, like a, uh, like a Southern DJ. Uh, <laughs> Southern DJ. Of, I'd be chopping it up into itty bitty pieces and putting out like five minute segments of the interview talking about the whole drama. Um, but no, I don't want to do that. I, I don't think that'd be like the best way to go, go about things. Cause, uh, especially when it's over something so minor and so silly, it's like, it's just Mr. Beast beating T-Series. Like it's not, not that big of a deal features or whatever, but this whole Linux O situation, um, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens with you forward with this drama. And I'm kind of curious to see, uh, to hear Linux O's side of things, but it's sounding like the drama, in my opinion, is pretty much over because Linux O got excoriated from the um, from the ISM Discord server, kind of sort of kicking him out of the, the promised lane group, I, I suppose. Um, but it's like, I don't know if he'll be brought back into the fold. It'd be cool if he, if he would be because I, I hate seeing friend groups split. But at the same time, I feel like this is going to be one of those instances where it's like, what's done is done. Um, it, the situation is not going to be touched anymore. And communities will either just grow or shrivel up and die in atrophy. So um, either, you know, Lenxo so grows his own community, gets his own Discord server, and then, you know, gets his own new group of friends who can kind of handle his, you know, level and manner of joking. Or... Uh, that doesn't happen, or or maybe ISM grows his own community uh, even even more uh, to include more folks. Although he did say that he kind of wants his Discord server to, to sort of be a uh, like a basically a group chat, not a an actual massive community. And also he's focusing on his music stuff. But I think one thing I don't want to see though is Lennox O get iced out in the cold with no friends, <laughs> like. And I think he still has some friends who are in the promised land community, but if the community as a whole isn't a fan of you, then you don't have mainstream acceptance, which, which is a shame, uh, especially because I don't think that Lennox owes, uh, you know, I guess, uh, it's not a sin that he committed, but his grievance, I don't think that what he did was, was that bad. I don't think there were any major issues with, with what he did. I think that maybe the joke wasn't in the best taste, but like to me, it's not something that kicks someone out of a discord server over, but at the same time, Hey, you know, it's, if it's your, if it's your server, it's your server. So you can do, you can do what you want, you know, with your own server that you make. Okay. I'm here for letting so that you'll be on soon. So looking forward to having him in there. I'm just hoping at the end that there's no beef. You know, I think that isolation, isolation and beef. I don't know what's worse actually, isolation or beef. Neither of them are good. Let's just let's just say that. Avoid avoid both if you can. Unless unless you're standing up for a good cause or something, or you know you're standing up for the truth or your beliefs. Uh, in that case, okay, cool. Go for the for the isolation and the beef. You know, don't don't betray who you are because you don't want beef. <laughs> <laughs> um 
Flair so in the chat said he's British. Oh, I mean like the the Dream SMP people, like like Tommy in it and uh Ranbu and Amesy, all those people. Tubbo, I think they're all British. Remember when Cutie Cinderella joined that uh the the gaming org that inc that had them all in it and then like didn't do anything with them and then left after like a year? <laughs> Was it like Misfits Gaming? What did Cutie Cinderella ever do with Misfits Gaming? Did she ever do anything with Misfits Gaming? I forgot that she was on TSM at 1.2. Okay. Uh, she was in a did... I think she was in a do all streamers think the same video by Misfits Gaming. Is that her? But I don't know. It's like, I don't know what the point of joining an org is if you're not going to do anything. With Point the two. But anyways. Oh, we've got Linux out here. Okay. Hello. He has dialed in. He is live. Um, Linux out. Talk to me, good sir. What's happening? How, how, yeah. What is your, your side <laughs> of this whole, whole story? Also, how do you feel about my coverage so far? Because I know that I... I spoke from having only read the messages and had the and having DMs with uh, with ISM. So I don't know I your mean, you side of it beyond what you had said in the in the Discord already. I mean, you basically covered like ninety percent of it. That was basically how the whole conversation went. It was just basically Colin wanted to start something just by a joke or, or something that Baron said in this like the ISM server saying like talk about Mr. Beast. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, Colin just says, like, he's like, oh, you're super racist. How dare you ever say that? I'm going to cancel you now. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Very funny joke, you know? It's no. so funny, you know? It's funny calling people racist joke, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, did, it didn't work. It, it, it was not a great joke. I, I, it, in my opinion, though, like, I, I think that, that some grace needs to be given for people who... Uh, if you're making a joke and it doesn't work, like those are how learning from your mistakes is how you end up making good jokes in the future. So if you have a goal of wanting to be funny, then you'll you'll keep on making jokes and you'll you'll let your, yourself flop until, you know, you, you kind of have a better hit rate. So I'm not going to yeah. hate on on ISM for making a joke that just doesn't really work or doesn't come off as a joke at all if you just read at face value. Um, but that's a little bit different, I think, than being like, oh, we should have known it was a joke. Like, why? I feel like it was different. And that's different. I feel like it was different. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but I feel like it was different with Baron because he, it felt like he kind of, it was at his own expense a little <laughs> bit. So I feel like he kind of took that like to like a little personal level, which I, I guess I kind of did because I left the server about two weeks ago, yeah. It's oh, wait, you weeks left? Ago. Yeah, I thought you flies. were kicked out. Oh, no, I left. No, I oh. left. I made the choice to leave. <laughs> oh, well, why yeah. did you leave the uh, the server? Leave Was the it just because, no. it, like, you... Because I know you also sent a message about, like, feeling like you weren't able to talk about the YouTubers you wanted to, which makes sense, right? It's like a Discord where a lot of people <laughs> talk about YouTubers. And so if you <laughs> have a big old block list of... Or blacklist of uh, YouTubers you can't talk about then that kind of sort of defeats their purpose but um yeah. like is, was that the main or only reason why you left well it was kind of just it was part of the reason like I, I think i remember from like your last stream when you covered the, the the i think it was like the drama from earlier when i think it was like from like the first argument that we had or like the first like official promised land argument that we had where i was <laughs> being like accused as like a Remember that story that I said where I was like I was being accused of being a pedo like in high oh. school or something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it kind of bled off with that at first and like some other things that you don't really know about that kind of built with what Colin is as like a person a little bit. Just hmm. being overreactive all the time, just being like misunderstanding the mark when I was like trying to explain like my story with like me in high school just because... I won't lie, like, high, in high school, it was very bad for me. Like, I was, like, 18. So, 
I was walking a very hard path of people trying to look at me as like as a weirdo or a creep or something uh, like that. So that's what I was trying to direct to Colin and he completely misinterpreted that the wrong way and decided hmm. to make a whole hissy fit about it for for like no reason. I mean like it seemed a little misdirected from him. I don't want it. Yeah, and, and from the context of what you had said there, like it did make sense, especially where we when, when we live in a world where our generation has basically their their brains have been fried by like Twitter at this point. Where they feel like if like someone is like above is like eighteen or above and is interacting with or you know, having some sort of relationship with someone who's like younger than that, they they must be some sort of like predatory individual, even if the age gap is like as small as like two or three years old, uh, which is like ridiculous. Like, yeah, like it, like a a boy and a girl should be able to like play soccer, <laughs> like yeah, <you> like know? <laughs> without like someone being accused of like impropriety. Like that's crazy, uh, especially when you are like eighteen. It's not like you're like twenty five or like thirty or something. No. Um. No, exactly. And if, if you're referring to like actual events that happened where you were actually accused of stuff, then what was? Yeah. I, I guess I guess I I understand less the room for misinterpretation. Although I do understand his misinterpretation. Misinterpre- it's like yeah. it makes less sense to me. If, I if mean, that makes I, sense. I was being kind of cathartic about the whole situation, like me just <laughs> saying that like a whole like high school experience that I had, <laughs> you know, something that was in the past that really affected me deeply and somehow Colin just completely disregards that and just like makes it into a way where it, it becomes drama all of a sudden which makes no mm. sense from him mm. it really builds in the person that Colin is I feel like because it wasn't like I, I obviously I would have not left the server just for him making like that joke or whatever with like Baron or when the server so yeah, that's, like, why, I, that's I why I assumed that's why I thought that you were kicked out rather than left no it's just i don't know with colin how he acts as a person he, he's like he could be a little overreactive with certain stuff as that could be he said or like acted upon yeah, yeah that, that i was mean mainly the i i, I the understand most, that more I, I understand that to an extent but also i think like like what do you what do you mean when you say like who colin is as a person because i think that one can be like overreactive or sensitive, but I think when you say um like who he is as a person, it kind of frames him as like he is some like nefarious like bad guy or he's like an evil like Dark Souls boss or something. Where it's like, oh, it's just oh, he's just like some villain. Like it's just, just well, I mean, the, who he is that, as a person. I mean, like like do well, you do gonna... you think that he is like behaving here in like nefarious intent or these are like genuine misunderstandings? Or just like sensitivities I mean, that he has, because I it strikes me as like a genuine misunderstanding or sensitivity when it comes to these situations. I mean, Not that he's trying to be mean or harmful or anything like that. I mean, I don't mean to put him in the spot, but Mr. Pizza, he kind of I feel like he considers it as a genuine misunderstanding when yeah. when it came to uh, Baron, the one that was being accused of being the racist or whatever. I feel like wasn't thinking was genuinely missing because he he was he felt like attacked from that and that did not feel right to me at all. Oh, like, yeah, that was not that, in what... the logs that I saw, but maybe that was something I was yeah. taking to DMs. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the, and like I think shortly after, we, we, like um, me and Colin kind of like negotiate about the whole thing and during DMs, like, well, why did you leave the service? Like, bro, you are literally. T- t- accusing a someone being a racist over someone that a youtuber that they really cherish for like I, I i don't care if you i don't care what you think about people like you can say that mr beast is an antichrist or that he you know goes <laughs> against religious beliefs i don't care what you what? think about it but <laughs> but but see if you, you put it like that that is something so bombastic that it sounds like a joke right like <laughs> like if i told you that my dad was bigfoot like that's gonna be like bombastic <laughs> enough to where it's like you're you're not gonna take that seriously. But if you're gonna say, oh, like that person is like a racist or something, like we hear that enough said seriously that it doesn't sound like a joke. I mean, yeah, th- that's kind of what my direction was for the whole situation. And sometimes people are not gonna catch on with that type of stuff, and mm-hmm. it's just not, it's just not leading. 
pleasing for that. So, so did you like try to set a new boundaries and hey, like, let's just not accuse each other of being racist anymore? <laughs> like, did you <laughs> did you try to go that route? Um, from when the situation happened or after? Yeah, with, like with the whole like Bear and Brett thing of the whole like negotiation and all that stuff. I mean, kind of, but it just became a whole crap show that I just didn't even know what the heck just happened. Hmm. So, I mean. I won't lie, a little bit of emotions got it to me, but, like, obviously I'm not going to be taking that, to like, part. I mean, like, tr I'm trying to, like, control how Colin is, because, like, like, after, like, shortly after when I left the server, mm -hmm. like I said, I was talking to him about it all in DMs, like, talking about, hey, man, you really need to, like, you, you really need to, like, stop this, like, because this, this isn't a first time that he's done this. He's done this multiple times. Like whatsoever and it's it, it kind of and won't lie i am that type of person to like accept second chances you know people can recover from this but like it's good from from like how much it has been amplifying from day to day from him it's just like okay man you are continuously doing this to other people that you know in a server that you build the promised land or i am server whatever awesome, yeah. that you build it and you are making these like heinous jokes that people are not even going to like not only understand but like they would feel against towards like that's yeah. just it isn't it doesn't sit well with my stomach when I, yeah yeah that so i just i just didn't think that was right and i, I think it, it's kind of weird for him so, like shortly after when i left the ism server i i feel like he was kind of guilt tripping me a little bit because after he was like Oh, you breaking the promise land. How dare you, man? That's so sad. I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, promise I, land is so I heard him say that, and I was like, okay. And then I saw the messages. I was like, it doesn't really sound like you were the no. source of the problem here. <laughs> like, no. I'm gonna... <laughs> like, we have other group chats that monitor fairly well with like in our like friendship because like I, I think josh mentioned like you know e productions right ethan yeah. mccoy ethan whatever yeah we have like a whole group chat with like basically that but with al coffin or big al or whatever like that but um hmm. oh it, it, i don't know why he was trying to make this like a legacy like we were supposed to stay in the group for 10 years forever <laughs> and now that you left <laughs> the server or like left the chat we can't carry on with you anymore like Okay. Well, and? I, mean, I mean, to be fair, like, I do understand wanting to have some sort of, like, legacy group or, you know, or, or something like that. Like, like the, yeah. the guys with me in uh, a car three, I've kind of wanted to have something like that with them. And we haven't really had something, like, formally like that. But after um, Aragorn the Bold's wedding that we all went to, um, he did make a discord server for all the groomsmen and so that basically became the new uh like uh, so like i don't know if you've seen like all the card three uh like uh legacy like smp stuff but like all the people mm -hmm. from them from there like we're all in that discord now and some so if you see me playing like uh like halo or something with some people when you hear other people's voices that's them so it's nice to have like a core group but i think also to your point group chats can change like over time and sometimes you just like fall out with cer certain people in the group or some people get too busy or whatever and there's nothing wrong in i guess the people who still want to be in touch forming in a different community whether that's like e-productions or like a completely different discord uh, um so it's not like <laughs> it's not like bonds have been irre 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 irrevocably no, 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 no. broken. Like if a if a bond can be broken by one person leaving a Discord server, like how strong was it? <laughs> oh, sure. I mean, hey, I, I, th that that bond was really trying, it re really straining itself with all this <laughs> stuff that's been happening. Yeah, but to be fair, like, also like I'm still at the ISM server and things seem to be clicking along still. Like people are still talking and chatting. I, I think because I haven't posted as much in the film discussion section about the stuff that I've been getting, that one has kind of like drifted away into obscurity to a certain degree. But like people are still chatting. So like it's not even that you killed the community because the community is still around. Right? It's not like a church split yeah. where like <laughs> half half church the people split. stayed half the people stayed and half the people left. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're talking about just like one person here. Uh. <laughs> 
As a non-denominational, I understand that. <laughs> As I mean, I mean, yeah, I just speak. I just, I'm just speaking from experience with severe torture. Is <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah. I mean, stuff like that can. I mean, and there, a reason why that can happen when, hap- when that happens in churches, it's, it's painful, is because it's, it's like a social thing where where people feel slighted or whatever, um, and then like they they create the, they drop these like arbitrary lines of who's an ally and who's an enemy, and I don't think any of that is yeah. necessarily helpful, especially like. In something where it's not like you're building like a you know building a church or you're teaching doctrine, you're supposed to be just like having fun. Like it shouldn't be that high pressure, you'd imagine. Yeah, I just I feel like that I already had already at group chats like that were already good enough as it is other than the promised land. To be honest, mm-hmm. like we we basically established like way better group chats, and the, the fact that like Colin made this like bigger than it the bigger than what the situation was it was just like Mm -hmm. like it was it was a little bit too much for me so you know obviously i had to put the knife in the coffin and then just like just call it off and it's like okay you're you're gonna keep doing this then i'm just not gonna be part of that anymore yeah but i mean to be fair like if he is if he is feeling like 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 sensitive or whatever along along these lines i'm not gonna fault him too much for for wilding out because like that that's how he feels so if if he if he felt like what you said was meant a certain way then like i i'm not gonna hate on him for that reaction i think that it's the it's the misunderstanding needs to be like worked through but at the same time that same grace should also be afforded to you when you didn't understand the Mm -hmm. the poorly worded joke that the ism had had made yeah I mean, so with the group, I, I, this is, oh sorry, go ahead. Uh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say because like, keep in mind, I did not leave the server just because of what the joke they made. I'm just leaving him as like, Colin as a whole, like how he's acted in the past few years. Like this, this hasn't been the first time where he has like, and like overreacted like this in like the past. Like he's had like slight remarks when it came to you know, me just sit, saying something as simple as you know stupid joke or something mm-hmm. like that and then he would like just completely pull it put it out of bounds and it was just like i i, I don't know why he, he i don't know why he gets the urge to like you know put someone just put someone out like in the street or something like that like trying to like get something out of someone hmm. like, every single time I don't, I don't know why well i think to be fair it's... i don't think it helped that your community was part of like the the ytp community for so long which sort of just like was fueled by uh, fueled by drama, as if it was just like a never-ending source of nuclear energy. So, like, I think when you get used to everything being blown or something at some point being blown up into drama, and being like and like participating in that as well, and crafting enemies out of other content creators, then I think that's a habit that can be difficult to break. I guess one one thing that I think his sensitivity towards like you in particular, um, it had surprised me because I know, I think this was a year or two ago in the server. He had said something about like pride month and he was like, we all celebrate pride month. And I was like, I don't celebrate pride month because like as a Christian, I don't think that's like something that I should be doing. Um, yeah. And, but, and so like, he like dragged me on the DMS and stuff and it was an amical conversation. It was very calm, and and he wasn't necessarily um, rushing to judge me. So that, that just kind of fizzled out, and nothing came of that. So when you have a, a hot button topic like LGBTQ, uh, I guess I guess the colloquial it would be called rights, like LGBTQ rights, um, where even a slight disagreement is generally like perceived as like intolerance or bigotry or hatred or something and he and and we had a very clear disagreement there um but he didn't feel the need to like cancel me or or hate on me i'm just a bit surprised that he decided to kind of be a little bit more aggressive towards you over something that i think most people wouldn't expect to be viewed as like a big as big of a deal you know what i mean 
Hey, well, here's the. Did you like say like I don't celebrate Pride Month, or is like you said I hate Pride Month? Because there's I like a difference. I say I hate Pride Month. I think, I think he had said like we all. It, it's June, so we it, it, we all celebrate Pride Month as it's June or something. And I was like, no, I don't. I uh, think that was like basically the extent of <laughs> my contribution because I didn't I didn't come in there to make a fight, but I also didn't want people to assume that I supported something that I don't. And yeah, that was well, my whole point thing, of making that that comment. Yeah, because <laughs> the thing is, like, if he said if you said something similar to the lines of like "I hate Pride Month," he probably would have taken that a little bit. bit <laughs> yeah, no, with no, the I nail, know. like the yeah. I don't so, know if I'd say that like, I hate it. No, because because with that, I because I within like any like negative or something like that that he would appreciate. Because and it's ironic because he's a Christian too as well. But the thing is, <laughs> right. um. <laughs> because like the thing but the thing is is like if you were to say something like that like i hate pride month then it's like okay well e even not only just putting some Colin, but you just yourself saying that is like okay you you're just being a dick just being a dick at that point well I, I, it depends on how, you, how you go about it because like it's like what what's at the root of that right a, a lot of people who would say like i hate pride month they would also like probably want to just like take a lot of gay people and throw them to jail or something um or they'd yeah. be like christian nationalists who want to like criminalize certain like consensual adult acts and it's like that's that's a little mm -hmm. bit different than being like i don't like the month because you're like celebrating sin or something like that and, and i don't think that's something to celebrate those, those are two entirely different perspectives that i think could just as plausibly be over, be like an outflow from the statement, I hate Pride Month. Um, but you, I mean, you do have a point, you know, if you're bringing like hate, hateful language into that, then that kind of insinuates that you kind of have very strong negative feelings about the people who are participating in that. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, but I, mean, I, the I don't think personally is, I would yeah. be so quick to judge just on that side, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, the moral says, like, don't hate like people or anything like yeah. that but don't be overreactive for the people that are hating on that yeah so you know it's just it's just common sense yeah let's keep it i mean and and and, and i guess we're, we're diving a, a little bit like political i suppose <laughs> but with yeah, my political for like <laughs> but with my political philosophy too where i come from is just like america was built to be like the land of freedom so what you should do is create and foster spaces in america um, whether like through policy or, or socially, where people can like believe what they want, um, you know, act on those beliefs that they want within within reason, relative reason, um, and just like let people be left alone. And so, as part of that, it's like if people want to celebrate Pride Month, they can celebrate Pride Month. Just don't necessarily like drag me into that. Um, and so, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on you for celebrating a month that you like. Or like you know, like celebrating a thing that you like because, you know, that that that's part of what it means to be American is you get to celebrate um, your identity or your beliefs or whatever. And, and I think that as a as a nation, um, like that that's not that's not the worst thing in the world. Like, do I do I think that there should be a pride? But that's like a whole other discussion. But it, it, as long as it exists and people want to celebrate it, like people should feel free to do that as much as they wish. I like how we drifted to this political stuff. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, I am. I tend, to, I tend to be hyper political. But I, I guess one question that I had to to co to come back to the whole topic at hand is because we have a uh, because you're you're in multiple Discord servers with multiple friends from the promising community. Do you no longer feel, or do you not feel like you need to like make your own Discord server so you can stay in contact with all those people? No, I mean, I've, I've mentioned a, a couple of times, I've already had group chats where I've, it basically is the promised land. You know, I'm already talking to the same people that were already on the promised land. Mm -hmm. Six, like I said, excluding Colin and Miguel, his, uh, Colin's brothers. So it's just, I've already kind of settled with that, you know. Only thing I guess I would be expecting from Colin is just an apology, I guess. Like, I don't know. If that would solidify all the stuff that he's done from the past, would that 
he's been like of how his actions have been towards people that he's been talking to would justify anything so i mean but that's the i feel like that would be the least he could do because you know all the stuff that he's been trying to implement on people not probably not only on a serve but like you know just in, just in general like in life for him so if he's gonna keep like doing this then it's just not gonna it's just not gonna sit in the I don't know what's a good saying. It sit in the bowl for a good. Wait, so what, is, what has he had similar negative interactions with other people? Like, and and again, this all confuses me because this is not congruent with how he's behaved towards me. Um, but like, is there like other stuff where he's just like unjustifiably gone ham on people for no reason and that caused problems? Because I I am not. I was never involved or told about. I don't think any of that stuff. I, I mean, don't think I don't think the stuff be... like Daniel Lord counts because I think that was like an actual well, no, thing. That was for the was... right reason. Yeah, though. yeah, that was like an actual thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like the, I feel like when I feel like okay, back then that was when he like the whole Daniel situation that was different, you know, because all of us got involved. Like literally, all of us got involved to like. Yeah. extinguish him like get him out of like hindsight but i feel like now it's just like he's being completely incoherent with what he finds you know negative now or like what he's trying what he's acting upon that's negative like again with the joke it's just completely incoherent of him just blatantly saying oh you're a racist for thinking that mr peace is this blah, 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 blah. and then going back to um the, the pedo thing with me being like right Oh, yeah. why would you ever say that? That's not what you... Because I, I won't lie, I did misinterpret things. I, because, like, <laughs> during when I was, like, talking to him about, like, the whole story about my high school experience, I, I did get a little cathartic about it. So, you know, not a lot of stuff that I said kind of, like, aligned with what he thought that I said. So, <laughs> I, it was, I guess I'll take, like, more of the end of the stick for this one because I, I did admit that I was being a little emotional at the time. But, like completely negating the fact and just starting drama is just not something that's good for him as well. You know, yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Do you think he moving forward is trying not or trying to avoid drama or do you think it's something that he is going to continue to fall into or um, yeah, like, like what do you think like the future for ISM is going to be like long term when it comes to like interacting with other people? I mean, how has it been in the ISM server? Has he, like, started anything yet? Or, like, has he oh, keeping man. things within good terms with people? I won't lie. I, I do touch a lot of grass, but <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I, do, I don't... I never noticed any major... I mean, to be honest, I also, like... <laughs> the first time I was notified of a lot of this drama was in my own Discord. <laughs> oh, wait, what? But, I mean, like, uh -huh. I think, like... What, like, or maybe not in my own Discord, but either that or like in DMs, where it's like someone reached out to me and said, Hey, the server's about to die, or whatever. And I'm like, Huh? Yeah. And then I go into the Discord and I read the messages. But I am relatively active in the general and the film channels, and there's been no drama there. Like, people, people have been super chill. No one's gone at each other's necks. Um,. Like, it's just been normal Discord stuff. Okay. Mm. Normal Discord stuff? No. I mean, <laughs> normal I group mean, chat it, stuff. Okay? It's we don't when have someone, any it's when someone... We don't... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 yeah. It's when someone gets the wrong hand, that's when things start to spiral. Yeah, yeah. Which has not happened yet. Uh, and I'm hoping that's something we can avoid in the future. Um, yeah. I, I guess one unique I mean, angle I wanted to, to, to uh, discuss about this whole situation too is the fact that you were supposed to be collaborator on um, ISM's next project, I believe for colors to use the way that, yeah. that your involvement with that album was described to me originally by Mr. Pizza, I believe not Mr. Pizza, uh, ISM. I believe it was, you were to have a pivotal um, role in the creation of the album. And to a certain degree, ISM wanted to keep you in the group chat or in the Discord server um, because he needed you for the album. 
Uh, and then after you left the server, um, he then said that he actually didn't really need you um, and is going to like re replace your role. But like, do you, are you talking with him about potentially still collaborating on that next project? And me, or if not, like, are you, are you planning on ever or thinking about ever doing music with him? Like in the future? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest. It wasn't really much of a huge collab. Like from what he has told me in the past, and what I would have to do for him was basically just be a voiceover for him. Just voice a bunch <laughs> of lines that he would orchestrate for me. That was basically it. It was nothing like too like laborious for me to do. It was just me just saying like, hey, can you say this funny line real quick? And then that would be like the end of it. So it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't it's still really, nice. It's still nice that you wanted to include you to that extent. Yeah. Or, yeah. But it wasn't really. He wasn't really making as much of a bargain as he was. But apparently, <laughs> I guess. Maybe he was, according to what you're saying. And, well, you know, I mean, he's like, it, oh. was, it was a little bit confusing because, like, there was, I know there was, and I don't, I don't like leaking DMs, so I'm not, I'm not going to, like, quote yeah. verbatim, but, like, um, there was a point where he was like, oh, I feel like I, I feel like I should kick him out of, out of the server, but I still want to be friends with him, and also I want him to be on the album. And I just like I'm just I'm just gonna keep him in the server just so that we could we can we can and I'm gonna keep on being friends with him so that I can I can get this this album out. And and then yeah. afterwards it was it was like it was a little bit different. Yeah, I, I just wanna clarify I didn't like he 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 had no thought of kicking me out just because of like the whole album situation. I, it was just only the drama solely. It was it had nothing to do with oh, like, yeah, no, no. his yeah. music or whatever. So I just yeah, wanted I mean, to clarify. If anything, that. I think the music was going to be a reason for him not to kick you out. That, that's that's what that's yeah. what he how he described it to me. Yeah, I mean he seems pretty successful with what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Like in, because he recently just had a concert um, somewhere in Chicago. I don't remember where. In yeah. Chicago. Um. Yeah, he recently had one. It, it was pretty good. I, I I won't lie. I did see some of the videos. It was kind of cool. You know, it was like nice. A very a very goth like type <laughs> setting that he was setting. And like I won't lie. Out of all the stuff that Colin kind of. That I kind of resent Colin from doing. I would say his music has been the best so far. That's cool. That's cool. And I, I would love to see you guys kind of like reconcile and come back together. I don't know what that would have to look like. It sounds like he would have to give you some sort of apology, but I think you would you'd probably need some assurances of, I guess, more uh, for lack of better verbiage. Um, I guess <laughs> more reliability from his his behavior. I suppose. Um, yeah. But was like, if you if, like, those, if that can be bridged, I would love to see that because I hate seeing like friendships get torn apart or people kind of like grow apart and stuff like that. I, I always hate seeing that. So yeah, I mean, part of me for some reason kind of wants me to apologize, but like just looking to it, I'm like, well, what you shouldn't apologize, apologize if you, you're not really sorry. <laughs> well, like, what do I need to apologize for? <laughs> like me, me, me doing the right thing or like me stepping in for something that. He was saying that was kind of misinterpreted or something. Right. So. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I I do have I to know. head out, but um, I do appreciate appreciate you coming on here and kind of like sharing your your side of things. Um, yeah. I'm try <laughs> I generally am I, I'm trying to be neutral in like this this interview and all this stuff, and I of mm -hmm. course I'm quite sure that I'm not 100 percent doing that job, but I do also appreciate you like being willing to hop into the channel respond to any pushback that i have um it, it's it's an unfortunate situation all around um and i can see where there's hurt on both sides and kind of like where that came from after speaking to both of you which of course is unfortunate but you know the whole life the, the real life is not like filled with like you know unicorns and rainbows like people fall out people get hurt either intentionally or unintentionally so to a certain extent, this is just part of life, which sucks. But I mean, to a certain extent, so does life. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping I clarified a few things that were kind of confusing to you. Yes, yeah, it yeah it does. And I think it. I think what what was clarified most was um, that you left, and uh, why you left, because it wasn't just a joke. I think that was like one of the the big things. Uh, also, one thing I was just—I was just a little bit curious about the music thing, so it was nice to hear more details about that too. Yeah. So I mean, I, I won't lie; it was fun, like 
collaborating with him in music because you know he knows that I play the trumpet, so he knows I get involved with a lot of the music genre stuff. Hmm. That's cool. At the very least, like it'd be nice if you guys could collab on the music again. Like people who don't like each other have collaborated on music before. <laughs> like there were the whole bands of people who hate each other. So like I don't know why, but, <laughs> but when you said that, that reminded me of Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. But I'm like, <laughs> wait, that they <laughs> I mean well, I, I think like didn't one of one of Kendrick's lines wasn't it basically saying like there are people in your own camp who don't like you? And yeah, like, and the, <laughs> I, I think it was in Euphoria, right, where he yeah. like said that, and that he that um he uh kind of accused Drake for saying the N word too many times in his oh, like songs. Yeah. yeah, but my mind was funny. actually really going to uh like um One Direction, where it's like I don't know if it's that they oh. hated each other, but they just weren't really like a great fit, like uh, personality wise, and so they all kind of split. And you know that that just happens. It is part of life. And and I was actually like with some friends, like in real life, touching grass as I do. And I was like, you know, it's kind of sad to see something like that, like a group of people like that could have had like a great, like at least ten year run, just like end things because they got into fights or whatever. But then they were like, oh well, I mean, they weren't even organically brought together. Which I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't have known because I'm not, a, I wasn't a teenage girl at the time. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, still, but still i hate to see great things end, so i mean for, for me I, I don't think this is the end for colin he may think it's the end i'm always like you know opting in for like if he were to have like second thoughts of what he did then maybe it was some short some show kind of re reconciliation for him but like I don't know. I I just I feel like time speaks for itself. What mm -hmm. if if what he does or what he's doing right now is changed from what he's done from what he has done in the past? Then I'm like, you know. Yeah, and I think I think we'll the see. one thing I would add and recommend before we wrap up is, I guess one one thing you could do is, if you have to have another conversation about the potential for you being brought back into the fold, would be just to ask him before. He like kind of like makes a final decision about like kicking someone out or canceling someone or whatever. Um, just asking for just like some time after making some sort of statement that he like misconstrues or misinterprets, interprets, like being like, hey, the next time something happens where I say something and it makes you upset, can you maybe like give me a chance to explain myself before you kind of like go off to the races? And w w which you know goes along like like there's a whole flood of emotions that goes along with all of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that pretty much covers everything with that. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. I mean, yeah. And also, m m me and my younger sister are supposed to be watching the 2015 Suicide Squad movie for some reason. So, uh, yeah, I think I really. We'll have to... <laughs> <laughs> Why so late? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but neither, neither of us have seen it before. And like, hey, after that, we're gonna be watching Madam Web at some point. So I mean, this is oh, it's, have fun with that. it's gonna be a bad movie month, y'all. So, <laughs> but I appreciate you coming onto the channel. Yeah. yeah, no problem. But have fun watching Madam Web. You will. I will try. <laughs> you will not. No, you won't enjoy it. You won't. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see. All right, thanks, man. All right, talk to you later, man. All right, peace. All right, that was fun. That was fun. That was a uh, a good little stream, I thought. Um, I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad I was able to get some additional detail about what had happened with the whole Promised Land thing. Um, I don't know if I'll do a whole different segment about that, how, how that made me feel, but because it doesn't really change my opinion a whole lot. I, I think one thing that gives me question is like how many people have have, have mr has Addison been talking to or had conversations with the relationships where things just kind of went south and there was drama part of me sort of doubts um part of me sort of doubts that there are like a lot of people who that's happened to but at the same time like i'm just one person not everyone's interaction with with ism is going to be like mind 
Mine have been. I think my interactions with him have been like basically perfectly fine. Um, again, he was very tolerant of, of my perspective of the whole Pride Month thing, where the vast majority of people are extremely intolerant um, on both sides of the aisle, aisle for various reasons. Um, so like I do uh, appreciate that, and, and actually like he is a relatively um, tolerant person, I think for a, for a left winger, uh, from from what I can tell. So I'm not sure what's up with like him kind of, I guess, rushing to judgment on Lennox O. Hopefully that's not something that happens to a lot of other people. Um, but I think the one thing I, the reason why I asked the question about uh, how he keeps it moving going forward is that he's entering a whole new career. He's making music now. I don't think you have time for petty squabbles when you're trying to put out an album or trying to make a band. So I'm hoping that whatever, whatever was causing the sensitivity, whatever, <clears throat> he could put that to the side when um, he moves forward with his colors to use stuff because that'll help things go along smoothly and make networking a lot better. Um, they'll just lead his band to greater success. Lenzo himself said that his, his, his um, band has the talent to make it. So, you know, he's just got to play his cards right and not piss off random people. <laughs> and he should be fine. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll watch his uh, career with, uh, with great interest. But thanks everyone for tuning in. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know I've been lying on the streams lately. I will, uh, if I'd be lying, if I say that I'm going to stop touching grass and stream more, but like, um, so trying to think of if I have time, do I have time to do another final segment? Um, you know what? I do not, but I mean, there was some react content that we did shoot during that segment that I will be able to use for video tomorrow, but. There's something I am going to, I do want to mention. This is not going to be a segment because um, the way that I've been covering this particular story, I'm not going to, I think either like, I'm not going to do a video until like all the drama is over and I know it's over for sure. Or, excuse me, um, I like make like really big, like three hour long segments where I include all my coverage of the story. Um, but I am going to talk very briefly because there's a small update on the whole promised land drama situation. So if you guys are not familiar with the promised land drama and all that stuff that's been happening, basically there's just drama that pops off in ISM's discord server, which has the promised land community within it. And, uh, people just get disgruntled here and there. They, uh, they get kicked out or they, they, uh, they leave. Um, it just problems keep on arising like like from time to time every two or three weeks there's some drama people re will reach out to me and they, they'll be like hey did you hear about the drama that happened in the uh in the promised land server so uh hold on let me see if i can find this uh wait did the messages get deleted bro i think the messages got deleted Wait a second, bro. <laughs> and I, I think I actually screenshotted this, so I do have the receipts. Um, I just did not think that... I didn't think this stuff would end up getting deleted. Wait, no. Oh, no. I didn't... I didn't... The screenshots I took were from DMs. They weren't from the actual... So, anyways... In this in this Discord channel, uh, there was there were some messages here. Uh, hold on. Let me see topic. No 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 no, I can't find it. But anyways, somewhere in the gaming gaming uh, channel. There was this stuff that had, had popped off because um, because basically ISM had kind of like brought up sort of like as a joke how you'd like canceled some people um, and like he just brought it up in passing 
while there, someone has having a conversation about like other things and a couple of the people who are impacted by the drama they got mad because you know they are still not like super happy about the situation and it certainly doesn't help to bring that topic back up again um and so then like people got mad and then baron barrett ended up leaving the ism server over that that's basically like the truncated version of that um i would go over in more detail if the messages from the ism server hadn't gotten deleted uh so i talked about um i assume with this in dms afterwards and apparently yeah, I, I probably should get a, a comment from uh baron barrett as far as like whether or not he actually said this or um if like there wasn't like more to the story but basically over all of the drama that had happened like the latest like a mini blow up baron barrett had called um ism uh a what's it called a narcissist for either the way that he was promoting the music or or the fact that he was promoting music in the ism server i, I couldn't get the i couldn't completely understand all that like 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 the, the exact reason for why Ben Barrett had called ISM a uh, a narcissist, and like I had a conversation with, with ISM, and it's it's so annoying because like especially this particular drama did not need to happen. ISM didn't need to bring up that old that old drama, but I will say though that in ism's conversation you know it kind of sort of came to light there's there's like some personal stuff going on behind the scenes that uh kind of caused ism to make the statements that he made he wasn't necessarily uh feeling himself uh feeling like himself that particular day uh, which is why he made the statements that he did so yeah there's a little bit of that all mixed up into the drama too i don't really have a whole lot more to add but i, I would say that uh, that hopefully when it comes to the promised land server moving forward um i don't know maybe hopefully he's a little bit more careful with the words that he uses um i think in hindsight he probably didn't mean to bring up that topic or cause the blow up that he did but um you know with just stuff going on behind the scenes you know everyone knows that you know no matter what it is that, that's going on um those sorts of things can sort of mess with how you interact with others so it is it is understandable to a uh, to a point. And I'm not gonna kind of air out what's happening behind the scenes. If he if he wants to talk about it at some point, he will. Um, I'm quite sure. Uh, the only reason I didn't I didn't mention what it was per, uh, publicly is because he didn't seem to say what it was publicly in the ISM Discord. So I figured that that meant that he probably didn't want it to be shared. But stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, I'm, I'm I'm expecting moving forward that he's probably not going to you know bring that topic back up at least in the way that he did uh in the future so it's it's good to know at least that there's like sort of like a cause for some of this drama that is like something that can actually be worked on um and improved so i am happy about that and he does seem to be taking steps to sort of try to try to work on that so that is good um but anyways very very minor update you know I don't really have like a massive conclusion or anything to say. I can't bring down like a moral verdict or anything. I just figured that for those of you who followed the ISM server or are in the promised land or, or care about all that drama, um, you guys probably deserve or are at least looking for some sort of update. So I figured that I would.